but I don't want to hold you all. I want to hear it now. Give it up for your first team. It's complexity! Years of searching for the stage, hungry for a grand final, Blair. Complexity time is now. The hopes and dreams, Freya, of North America finally coalescing in this lineup. And they'll look to add another feather in the cap of this storied organization from North America. Elise, he knows exactly how to lift a trophy down under, but that was back with Liquid. Let's see if he can do it again with complexity. The bold buff is real. It's been working out, the head rubs have come through, but there's also hair on the head of Hallsirk as well. But there's one thing for sure, Complexity have earned their spot on this stage. There is absolutely no doubt about it. This incredible group of gentlemen in front of me right now have done something that not many in the world can do. They showed up when nobody thought they could do it and they've earned their spot in this grand final. Give it up for Complexity again. But we know it takes two to tango, baby, and that's why it is my honour and privilege to walk out the beautiful FACE CLASS! Well, they were once known as the great procrastinators, but FaZe have sped from their way all the way to this grand final, Yanko, and now the trophy in their sights. The playoffs started on day one for them, Freya, and on that road, they took down the number one, number two, and number four team in the world. This is a team who has only lost one grand final out of the six in which they played in. Can they finish this journey? And can they put a second Sydney trophy in that glistening cabinet? He's a celebrity for a reason, and many here. It's almost uncomprehensible what we can think about here between these two teams right now. One team next to me painted legends in the server who have been doing it for so long, old blood and new. But then we say the exact same thing for complexity. Rain's got a lot of space. Four players stacked towards B. Faze ready to lock horns. Complexity, here it comes. They're stacked up. Grim, he's got so much to deal with. Hiding in plain sight though, what is good? So flashed, it was Robs' flash. Brokey profits, it's Robs with him. Even exchanges, they both no. oh. him. He's not dead, and neither are they. A three on three, Robs falls back. It's JT that tips the scales in complexity's favor. Yeah, this four-man stack is falling apart for FaZe here. Three versus two. Bear in mind, the bomb's not down right now. A player smoked off towards short as Robs and Ray. Quite the deadly duo to deal with this predicament. But Cole, they're biding their time. They're not rushing this one. They've still got a minute on the clock, waiting for the next pick. Rain and Robs. Disconnected, but can strike in unison all the same. There's patience from complexity. Oh, and JT's got the bomb, but he's got the eyes on the prize, gets the shot, job done, Robs, too much on his plate, I say that, with a quick click, he makes it a 1v2. Still not planting, not in a hurry, oh, oh. and it's costing them, does it really cost them everything? Not like this to start, Halzerg, the pressure rises, no armor on him, the flash, the pin, oh. it's oh. What a way to get this grand final started! That really does set the tone. Complexity trying to play it by the book, not trying to rush the situation. They don't get the bomb down, they find the picks, but Robs absolutely destroys them. A four-man stack toward the B-bomb site. They are one step ahead, and it's Robs closing things out cleanly. Ice cold as he takes down Halsey there, but the bomb was at least planted. Oh, cool by name, cool by nature. That is massive from Robin Cool. Yeah. Brokey, he stays reserved, doesn't take any engagements, but it's Rain that looks like he's going to get a little inquisitive and profits from it. Oh, Tap it that away. Way. That's Elise revealing the AK. Oh dear, hang on. Rops, you got a bit hungry for that oh. one. The double dig. Destruction from Halzerk. 
Well, well, well. Now we have got a round on our hands. Just one flash here, bear in mind. They've got no utility to smoke off bank or spawn. Carrigan, it's a prime position, but again, he'll need a couple of frags here. There's the flash. It's a beauty as well. It completely shuts Carrigan down. And now Twist will have to be the hero, rotating in from Connector. But he's got so much to deal with here. Great first shot. Can he oh. find a second? Not going to happen. And it's the hero, AK-47 of Elige, that posts the first round of complexity. We thought the hard work was done. You win against the Force by you deny the plant. You're expecting them here to be on an eco that dropped AK. JT putting a lot of trust in his superstar. Elige knows he's had to mature in this. He can't be the tilter for the team. He has to keep them on the straight and narrow. And this will allow these players like your House Oaks, like your Grims, like your Floppies, to enable and find these impact frags. Massive work. And you can see just how fired up House Oak gets. That was a nothing round. I don't really see much that FaZe can do in a round like this. A HE. To disperse oh. the smoke, Grim, you're getting stuck right in, in the oh. face. The MAC-10, one done, but more players noted. Yeah, and that's the main issue, knowing where they are, because once you do, JT handles it like work. Hey, an in-game leader stream, some stat padding <laughs> with the eco frags, and that's likely while the smile comes onto the face. Do a little bit of damage towards Robs, but this is his best bet. He'll have to jump over the wall, hopefully get a dink on the jump up, and we'll see if he can pull it off here. It's a high-risk maneuver. It doesn't usually work out, but uh -oh. it's going to be JT once again, cracking things over towards the B bomb site. Robs does pull one back. The boost from the MP9 does at least get them one, but the round is over. It wasn't a full investment, but still a very convincing round here for complexity. And five already on the T side of Overpass. Yep. This is great. But they want to go through this. This has to be perfect from Robson Carrigan. Oh, a sixth is coming. Look at that. That's a lockdown. Spray down. Robs with three. How's that one and done? And JT, no health. In the 1v3, we talked about his clutches, but not here. Not now. And Twist. Keeping the atmosphere high for FaZe Clan. They needed that one. But you talk about opening picks. We saw Floppy finding the opening exchange this time around. I think they've so far got six out of the eight rounds of play thus far. And that's on the T side. They're doing a great job with these opening picks. The only thing I didn't like about that from Complexity was 40 seconds left from the clock, and they've opted to go through the smoke there. Full gray screen, enabling Robs to get that massive spray down there. It's, like Alex said, exactly what FaZe Clan needed here. They've got a nice full buy here. The kits are out, the utilities there. And Grim, fast pace through the connector. Floppy, looking to crack things open once again. Fearless up towards Shaw. He's got oh! to He's done it once again, but Carrigan takes him down. And JT's gone too. Four members of FaZe on the B side. They knew what was coming. But Elige, with Floppy's hard work, maybe he can make something happen here. Oh, cleared the smoke. Great adjustment. But Robs, he trades. Oh. Halzer, he punishes. It's a two on two, miraculously. And there's more to come. More to come right here, right now. Grim caught off. And there's a FaZe round. Starting to turn into deathmatch out there. That pace over towards B, it's in your face. They've run that a couple of times from the complexity camp. And we'll see if Rain can continue to impress with his opening frag. This time, not Ooh. landing the shot here. Good. They're going to continue to push towards middle. It's Brokey, this time opening things up. And a ton of damage inflicted towards JT. Really uncomfortable now for the remaining complexity members. The damage so heavy onto JT as well. That spray and nade combo leaves him with just... 7 HP and Brokey's Brokey. searching. He is searching despite the advantage they have. It's well timed and finishes off JT nicely. A two man advantage for FaZe to tie this game up. Yeah, yeah. he was barely walking. Almost slung down by that HE from Rain. But now they need another him. floppy. Yeah. Incision. He's, he's done it once, he's done it twice. Will there be thrice? Angle found onto Carrigan. That org gave him the. A little bit of info he needed to pull the trigger. Floppy anticipating this rotation from that rain hole. Carrigan flashed off. Dead to right. We need another. And Grim provides it, but they're still low. And with Brokey's shot, it puts it all onto Grim. He's a sharp oh. shooter. The first is gorgeous. Needs a whole lot more. Using his util. They want to swing out. They oh. do. It's Twist with just three HP, a fraction left of it. Unfortunate for Grim there. Look like the Alia with the HE would have been a great way to finish that one off. Weird as that sounds, they will be able to flourish with these Galils time and time again. And it's Brokey with a lightning fast opening. Elias did not see that one coming. Keeping it dynamic is Brokey. 1337 indeed. And oh. there's another for the Orpa. Oh, and he's not, is he? He wouldn't. Come on, Brokey. He's really, really, that's enough. He really does. He's getting flashed in. Oh, oh Brokey! Yes, no. no way! Absolute insanity! Can seven.
and P250s in hand as well. They're waiting for the aggression here towards Long, and they might get it. It's Floppy and Elige. Uh, this has been a key for FaZe throughout the playoffs, taking pace out of CS2. Yeah, some pace now, though, onto Elige's position. The whole squad can swing him. He's Good running flash. out of bullets. It's up to Floppy to cover. They're going to lose them both. He takes one. Advantage phase. Nah, it doesn't feel like enough, does it? Complexity scrambling now, doing their best to get back over towards the A bomb site. But this is the thing the fight went so deep in picnic that there doesn't have to be a commitment from phase whatsoever. All right, JT, what have you got for us? Pressure's on now, still plenty of time on the clock, still those two smokes available. They're waiting for the CT reactions, and JT needs information, needs a hell of a shot as well, does damage towards Brokey, but it's oh! free. comes through, it's Carrigan that brings us into the four versus two now. Grim and Holzak, what is the play? What can he possibly do? What is the remedy? Holzak needs to find at least a couple of kills. Here. Good position, and a better shot there. Takes down Twists. That's a start. Onto the bomb carrier, no less. Onto the sharpshooter. And twists, and there he goes. Wow. It's Carrigan's pistol round. Yeah, he can say that again. Grim, he can still win this. It looks improbable, but this is the man who can deliver in these sort of situations. Flashed off, though. Brilliant pistol there from FaZe. Playing the round as it comes, waiting for the CD aggression to come through. A perfect flashbang deployed towards Long, gave us them two big frags at that point, and the CTs had no choice. They had to peek for information. And oh. Carrigan, like you said, this Jeez. is his pistol, takes down his rival in game leader, and Holzerk mobs to close things out, and it's going to be eight to five. Now, do we see the force by here for complexity? The CT side. We're going to crack things open, and bear in mind, this is an A stack for Complexity as smoke. well. So, yeah, the smoke not ideal, but surely still absolutely <gasps> fine. The MP5 will strike, and there we go. Bomb should be planted. It's up to Rain now to mow them all down towards Connector. The blender. <laughs> Come on, open the door. Say hi. Oh, no. Hello. JT's fingertips. Poking through. Well, if you're trying to pick the lock, mate, we're going to know you <laughs> on the other side. Let's go for the Sam Fisher approach. And there's another. Alzerk, nothing. SMG gets himself a little extra cash. And Carrigan will as well. So now we have the awkward situation. You're up against three SMGs. Your money's tight. You've got $4,000 on average per player. So. Looks like it's a fast B play. Let's get it. Are they ready? Testing immediately a phase clan. Flash is good. And so is the damage. Floppy under scrutiny. Rain finds the opening. And it's JT1 needed to be more. And it's up to Grim now. He's got help in the form of a lead. Oh, nice. Through the smoke. Great find. On to Brokey. Okay, this one's going to settle in. Bomb not committed, but Robson's got one oh, back. That's a problem now. Elise had such a power position, but it's Halzak from the heavens. Nails the orb shot, puts it all onto Carrigan. Has he got a clutch in him on this grand final stage? Bomb retrieval, half of the battle. Oh, oh Carrigan oh. with the first. A stunning shot onto the Orpa. Oh, what a move from Elise, though. Did he mantle up on that sandbag position in the smoke? Because up and over, finding that penetration as the site was under scrutiny. By virtue of the fact there's only four players, well, there's four players without helmets. I think we're going for the same strap once more. Brute force. It was close before. You'll see if Twist and crack things open again. He's leading the way with the MAC-10. Good damage inflicted. Can't find the kill this time. It's a Famous oh. mowing them down. Floppy returning to form here. It's a five versus three. JT will chime in. This is looking much better. And this grand final is back on. A clean sweep. Pretty much there for complexity. Huge hold from Floppy. Yeah, holding his nerve on that one and sending FaZe back to the drawing board. You tried it twice. This time, no cigar. You're going to have to try something else. I'm just surprised that they're going to do this on a full buy with AKs in hand. Like, I, as you mentioned, Henry, Twist coming through with the MAC-10, understandably so on the entry, but Grim, that is a roar you don't see too often. Robson, Elige. Robson's coming. Yeah, I think it's going to be all good for Rob here. Can't quite believe what he's seeing. But now the information flows. They've had that clear. Do you commit to the call? Graham. He's between enemy lines right now. And there's Carrigan! Oh! Carrigan! How? Somehow gets his gun on in time! That's unbelievable. It was on a silver platter for Grim. And now four players completely. Halzak's here. Yeah, maybe he's got someone in him. He's got the nade. He's got the orb. Maybe one from Halzak. Oh. That's a good start. Needs a multi-kill. A team kill, sure. But a 1v2 for Floppy. Needs a headshot. Rops the one to find it. And it's phase up to the double digits first. Oh, damn. Fortune 
all of the space, all of the timing, and likely all of the kills. It was such a good maneuver as well. They had so much control of the map there, and it comes down to the absolute granular detail. The fact that Rops finds him after he slipped the net, oh. he was trying for like three or four kills there, and it is Rops to close things out as well. Great position for Floppy. Aggressive, of course, up towards Shaw, but give the first pick and he might just find it. JT, will he be inquisitive towards Shaw? One more step, he'll go down. It's Carrigan finding the opening frag. Do they commit? They don't need to. Do they want to? Wow. Halzerk gives Brokey a taste of his own medicine and it's more from Halzerk. Stepping up on the big stage and Elise, you're right, is on hot pursuit of Twist with that bomb. Oh. Perfect position again. Not ready for that one. An easy one for North American superstar and now up to Rain in an impossible clutch. They have the bomb. What are you supposed to do? Surely no chance at this stage here. It would be an absolute nightmare for Complexity to give up even more than one kill. And there's the first. It should be traded out for great positioning. And it will be Complexity closing it down to just one round difference here. We go 10 to 9 and the money is completely shattered. Maybe get an opening frag, but no damage inflicted. And now active once again. The orb confirms a grim can push him towards the bathrooms and take the first kill of the round as well. Looking oh. for the double, gets the dink on Brokey, but it won't be quite enough. A four and four technically favors the T side here, and they're looking to continue the push in towards A. Actually, I tell a lie. It's all on him. It's all on JT. If he goes down, the site is open. Look oh. at that. Three players spamming through. And Robs is the one to bring it home. This is a wide open bomb site. I say that. Perfect timing from the incendiary. Elijah's has bought himself just a couple of seconds to dig seconds. his heels in, and now he's set up for potential success. Considering expecting a boost, but it's Rob's loud about this now. Oh, look Pick. at the damage! Rob's has one HP, he has the bomb, but it doesn't matter. Because Halzerg left alone with the orb, it's not the weapon for the job. Spotted a glimpse of the receding Rob's. I think he has to save Alex. Yeah, and it was all about that repositioning as well. Like you said, the incendiary down, Lanning to get a strong position towards Shaw. He gets one and a half kills at that point. If he gets a double kill there, I dare say they can salvage the round, but it wasn't quite enough. Oh yeah, one molly to start it off. A smoke for Floppy. He's worried about Shaw. Now the bullets are fired. Pressure is applied. Three coming out of the monster side. Reigns already found Halzak. The orb's gone. But it's this test now for Floppy and JT. Trying to hold onto their bomb Huge. site. Hold onto the hopes! of tying this game up. Only Rops and Carrigan can disrupt further. He misses his chance, Ali shuts him down. And Carrigan, the last man to fall, he'll give it a good go. But complexity, they force us the distance. I think FaZe found himself in two minds. When Rain found the kill up towards A, yeah. they were already out Monster, and there may be a slight bit of hesitation of, hey, should we drop back and head towards the other side? But they were overcommitted. Not known to be a fragger over the years, but this tournament, he is proving otherwise. Fantastic work time and time again, and JT, he's got a few more kills on his plate available oh! to him. There's Carrigan looking for the no! double, and he delivers! Is there anything left for FaZe here on the Eco? This he can't. finds the AK-47! This can't be happening! Complexity up against nothing more than a couple of pistols! No way, not like this. Wait, wait, the bomb's in con, the bomb's in con. And Elise Collision might find course. him, Elise might find him! And a huge oh, release no. of the pressure valve! As Elise has taken the bomb carrier down! Hold on, Carrigan still hitting shots! Kev, Kev, Carrigan didn't have Kevlar here, and he's on for four kills right now. How do they it's get a the two bomb on back? two. How do you get it back through the smoke? 20 seconds, Elise. He knows what his job is after a couple of seconds. They won't even have time to plant the bomb. Big nade. Slows him down. They'll take the opportunity to swing on through. Elise hits the first. No time in this one for twists. And all of that hard work. A good shot short. But all of that hard work from Carrigan, it does not translate into a 12. Oh, decent damage, sure. But as we go into the final round of play here, they're going to have to buy. 12 secure for Complexity, their map choice. They are looking to pick up map number one against FaZe Clan. Their aura on the stage right now is starting to shake. Oh, you're so right as well, Alex. That Lynch spin, the bombing towards the connector as soon as it goes down. Yeah, this is really something, something special out of Elysian and JT with so much pressure on your shoulders. The first map of a grand final. You haven't been in this environment before with this much at stake. And it's Halzak tested. He'll hit a shot, he'll get away. JT. Elijah's cooking too. On that flank from the monster side. He hasn't finished off his meal. Brokey bleeding with the bomb. JT fragging up a storm. This in-game leader and complexity. Two kills away. Touching distance. Still room for error.
Is Carrigan alone? And oh, no way. Just need to bring him down. One man. He's gone. And Complexity have the lead. This fairy tale. It's not done yet. Welcome. Welcome to the grand final. This is what it's all about. Right down to the wire. It looked like FaZe were running away with this one. But no, a complexity showing their mental fortitude. They take their map pick. 13-11. A smoke and that elusive HE grenade as well. I wonder what they've got up their sleeve. Oh, yeah, indeed. Keep your eyes on that one as they are going for a little avant-garde approach. The smoke top main, waterfalls through. They can drop into the top site. No one's ready. No one's ready, but Elise oh! is! And Grim hits the double up. They just collapse. It's a perfect counter. We've it seemed like such a good idea. We've seen that smoke time and time again. It's very meta right now, but maybe Carrigan gets the plan down uh -oh. here. Take it. Uh oh! You take it! Oh, he's giving it up! Oh, he's yes. giving it up for nothing! That right there, thought he was going to get run down, hoping to pivot, get oh. a chance to plant again, but denied. They'll make the next move. Two players encroaching in towards that ramp from here. If they can find Rops in the corner, call the round done, but he seems to be very aware of this prospect. Spots the first, he'll get the first kill, no problem. Ah, oh, the second eludes him though, and it will be the man advantage Brokey's maintaining quick. the complexity. Oh, brilliant reaction from Brokey. Catches the leash completely off guard and a missed shot from the York now. Halzak's revealed it. Fired off the shot. Not ready for Carrigan's this. got the element of surprise. A beautiful strike, but that bomb is denied. And another required as Brokey gets it. All on to JT. Only an MP9 to his name. That bomb needs to go down. It will do. Thanks to Carrigan. Finds the rifle, swings open oh, the doors, man. and Carrigan secures the round for FaZe Clan. Now, P250 Great spot are from range. a liege, well, though, Henry. This is what the key for this round is for complexity. Yeah, they want Horza to take the aggro, just present himself a few shots through the smoke, and hopefully a liege can swing. There's the aggro taken. Double kill on a blade. He can't deliver. Oh, oh my god, it's rain through the smoke. Finds the four versus three. The reaction from Floppy is everything here. Can't connect the dots, and surely this round is done. Yeah, especially now. The jig is up on the push through lobby. They're both there, both spotted. Incendiary down, delays the rotation. They can't chase that bomb. Oh, this is Rops' regular home. Tucked in towards the ramp. They were lined up for him. If he gets both the kills in oh. this moment, call it done. But rain through the smoke, I have no idea how he gets it so cleanly, but it's absolutely everything. Nice reaction from Floppy, but didn't have the weapon for the job. That was like a transfer from rain. He was like spamming towards hell and just dragged it into a liege. Didn't yeah. quite work. We'll leave that one <laughs> in the notebook. Rub that one out. Rub yeah. that one out. You yep. can throw that. I'll look for some other names. <laughs> but, but now it looks like it's not a problem. Rain continues to dominate the outside area. That's his second frag of the round. The rifle has been removed. The Grim is still here, but Alige caught a difficult time as he vaults up towards the hub. Pulls out trying to recover the pistol, but Grim still has a fighting oh chance God. there. Does he ever? If he gets the third, this round is back on. Two versus one now. Oh. And he can't quite find the fourth, but great shooting coming in from Grim. I think the shake of Twist's head there says it all. And he's just been spotted, rumbled in his uh, borrowing into secret early. And Rops is trying a bit of a pacey one here, waiting for flashbang, staring at his mini map, and ooh, didn't quite get that one right. How's I didn't see him? It's a free frag for Rops, traded. Good from JT. They're down the vent. They managed to slink down. That was a distraction. It was all a distraction, a ruse. The bomb, though, covered by Floppy. The awareness, an all time high. Yeah, he's a great ramp player. He's might have him job. as well. And at least he gives the information away. So Rain gets the kill, but it's still a three versus one. They know the bomb's down towards lower. Some damage inflicted as well. They do not have to force the issue here. Force the plant at the very least. Rain looking for kills. You can see he's desperate. He knows he can't just plant the bomb cleanly. And clean it is for Cole. Important response and three bodies. Walking in. How's that wide? Solid connection, equalized, but only for a second. It's broke his orb. Catches and punishes. Pivot required out of complexity now. Warehouse lost, and ooh, we saw a bit of leg there. Oof. Floppy doesn't want to be caught off guard. Can't quite believe they've got it. Oh, they're so far away. This kill will decide the round. If Rops gets at least one, oh. make it a double. The round is over. Fantastic positioning once again. And he looks to find the third as well. It's Floppy 
trying to get a kill from the hell position, man. He'll get it, but there's no way he can win the round. He'll fall back and head towards CT spawn. Broke, he's already hunting. He's run up secret already. Seems like he has a good idea that Floppy... <laughs> I don't think the world has quite ever experienced that before, guys. <laughs> Chanting that at a save, uh, it's what we're feeling. Oi! <laughs> Leash needs one, and nearly the second, the last bullet on the nose. Rain's gone, Rob shut down. And the remaining members of FaZe that head into Floppy's domain, but he's ready. And all guns are blazing, takes down the AWP of Brokey. Yeah, that will do though. One and done with this sort of advantage, that's uh, absolutely fine for Floppy. They know where Twist is at this point, and... Another kill would be great, just soften up the CT economy even more so. It's true, even one would be pretty disastrous for complexity here. Ah, he's gonna call it. What was Ten it? seconds though, there's hey. the kill! Can't plan. Well, there's oh, another! No. They've lost two kills, two rebuys forced by Twist. Oh, after time, but not a problem. It's he has 4.1k, exactly. and he found two kills. So you'll take it. Elige has been strong outside, but a lot of pressure here with the utility. Smoke's being deployed, but he still has a gap. It's Brokey on the AWP, looking for the first pick. Flashbang deployed. Elige with another spray, gets the first, and needs to try and stay alive here. Yeah, he's baiting out the shots. He knows the AWP's posted on him, catches one through the box, lives nice on. Nade. nade looks good, combined with the AWP. It could be the end of Brokey, but look at that. Rob's Rain and Carrigan connect on the re-aggress. Nice aggression from Elige, as actually they managed to equalize it. Drops into the site, low HP. Elige dead. And only Halzerg left. 14 HP and a USP, not the weapon for the job. That is a captain's round right there from Carrigan in through the main smoke. Nobody even knew it was possible. We might catch it here in the replay, but he was able to sneak in through main during the madness. You see that kill onto Grim? Yeah. There's no way Grim was ready for that. Massive stuff. And that could be the round that breaks complexities back. We knew the money was thin before. So many possibilities presented with FaZe's openers. Grim under a lot of trouble. Yeah, this is the Rob special. Out into main. So much space, they have no idea. Rob's behind enemy lines. Elise catches him. That's a big one for Cole. More available if Grim dares. He has to trifle with twists. They can slow it right down though. Oh, the bomb's what? already gone down towards lower. They, they can speed it right up. Forget <laughs> everything I just said. That's an amazing club. And Rain looking to move them down towards the lobby. Round should be confirmed here. They have got no idea what's going on in this round. Yeah, it's still awkward. Down the fence, coming up ramp. That's their main port of call into the site. Carrigan decon doors open for him. He has to disrupt this pursuit of the defuse. Oh, and the numbers. They're running out of players. Complexity need kills. Elise to bodyguard. The Molly can seal the deal. But they have to get it down. On the defuse now. Brokey can't what? do anything but in the flame. Oh! And there it is. The clutch. And FaZe leave the hog with eight. What a beautiful round of Counter-Strike. As we move things over, it's complexity now on the T side. P250's in hand, and just a single flashbang here, so nothing too technical. They're looking for these opening frags. Goes without saying they need this, but it'll be both pistols in nuke if complexity can find this, and that's Bad. a great start for Elige. Exactly what the doctor ordered to remedy this nuke. Grim's hit one two. This one two punch of North American talent. They've hit all the shots necessary. Carrigan, the next to fall. And it puts it all on to Brokey. Five still alive for complexity. Yeah, well, Brokey at this point, if he can find a couple of kills, maybe that's something. Waiting for his opportunity to strike, but this, the Julies might find a double kill here. Surely he does no more, but he does get himself $600, I suppose, towards the end. Yeah, but you say the Julies, and then you think he has 30 bullets, and he doesn't have to reload, yeah. and there's three players and stuff to come in his direction. Brokey. We'll only find two. A what great a shot, shot from Elise and Prim as well. A cop's a goose for his troubles. But well handled and even a few extra bullets into the body. And it's Rain. He's been deadly so far with this Desert Eagle. Looking to open things up and complexity. Lying in wait on the other side. The first Ooh. shot strike. It's JT to find the first kill. But Carrigan not far behind. That's really a big frag from Carrigan. It reveals that Eagles are in play. Is that CZ? Yeah, look at the damage he's done. 
So many low, softened up for the Deagles. Complexity not clear in their corners. Halzak does finish off Brokey, but from behind, Robs will find one and only two HP. Kaz Carrigan really got the Deagle headshot in him. It's captain on captain. Oh my, a huge advantage for JT here. He controls the pace of this round. But where is that bomb? It's down in towards the hut, I believe. Waiting for Carrigan to make the next move at this point. And Carrigan, he's still got the Desert he's Eagle. Coming. Now there's the Galil. He's coming. Is this another clutch for JT? Saves him from a red face there. That could have been it. Faze might have all they need to get map two done. Oh, here's Brokey. We said he'll bring out the AWP and it's playing aggressive, of course, oh. for good reason. A double ding comes through. Look at this pace. I love it. Halzerk uh, throws caution to the wind. The rest of his team nowhere near him. A one-man mission. They've got no idea. Robs is in, Robs is They've got no in idea. This is huge. This is a dream. And no, 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 no. no. just Whoa. about gets it done. Main is smoke, FaZe needs something, a no-scope attempt to push through the smoke and it looks like 8-8. There's something about that heaven position <laughs> when you have a guaranteed frag, it can all fall apart very quickly. First map as well, 24 kills in a very close game against one of the world's best. So note that kill, Elige kills Rain oh. and Halzak knows, Halzak knows Rain's dead on yard, I'm gonna take some space and what space did he take? All the way up to heaven, no one ready for him. Twists here. Good flashbang as well. Doesn't commit to the swing. Bear in mind, a few CT players of our helmets here as well. It's a They're going to execute, They're gonna execute A. Brokey, though, he's right up against him. He spotted a little leg on the jiggle. He knows Grim's coming. He nails the first shot. In defense of the site, can't hit the flick. Need a big one out of Twists. The first is great. Humbled now. And up to oh! Ray. The dink is in. And it's all good in the face clan hood. Oh. Robs' response time impeccable. The fact that Secret's been blocked, where do you go? Complexity have to come back up or they have to sit and wait. Yeah, and oh, opportunity presents itself and a clean one from Brokey. Good adjustment. Repositions now and a 60 second mark. No hurry here for Complexity, but I say that they are walking into Carrigan. Oh, Looking Carrigan. for the fight, he's investigating. And deleted. There's no quick rotation. They can get onto B. There's no fast rotation point for FaZe. Oh, Elise might even hear this. Yeah, he knows. And he's got such a power position for the late flanks. Defense? He's got no Yeah, they do. Lobby. They've got everything covered apart from pushing, that ramp pushing descent. Pushing Chris clears him. A fantastic find. Even... Oh! oh! No, from Elise. God. Eventually, the bomb's gone. Out of their grasp. Twist if he gets this one. No. JT denies. It's up to Robs in the clutch again. Elise not looking. Gone. Surely win that one, flying up the ladder. Gave it a good go. But lacking consecutive rounds, this is miserable scenes now for FaZe. They changed their mind, Henry. I watched them buy in the first moment of the timeout. They had Famuses and M4s, and then they got called off. Oh, oh my god. Brokey, he isn't going down about a fight. And he takes down Elise as well. Providing opening after opening. This time it's an opening death. No Brokey, way. he's in the right place. Sticks around in the flame. Doesn't find too much. Rob's hiding. Biding his time. Floppy looking for it. Pressure onto Brokey. Fires his shot. Robs will activate for one. Advantage phase still. And only ramp to boast for Cole. Rotation to come down and it will be, well, signified that this lower side should be the hit. Decon smoked off. They're being quite apprehensive, Chad, here, and that's going to be Brokey! Another scrappy interaction here, but it will be Hulto coming out on top. 45 seconds, still a lot of round to be played out here. Rain rotates down towards lower, but in the vents they go once again. Do they go back in towards the upper bomb side? Rain got Hulto's number! Huge kill, and he'll maintain the advantage. Oh, sweaty palms for these two now. Locked in. And Twist, the element of surprise. They're looking for Rain, but they find Twists and trouble. What do you do, JT? Nothing. With Carrigan one side, everything boxing him in, and it's a face plan round! Absolutely insane scenes, and you start that one with the brokey flick of the wrist, a bit of a wrist breaker indeed. Has to be the upper rush, it's all we can really think would be worthwhile here. And in we go, boys. Deep breath for Floppy. Carrigan! He got caught! Pulling out the nade! And now oh! we're Complexity! They found it! They found the round! 
and didn't all, have all the pennies. It all comes down to being caught with the grenade in the hand. But didn't the flash the was rush. late, Henry. The flash was late. Floppy came out before the flashes. I thought this was curtains. I thought nuke was phases for the taking. Oh! But coming into this one. And they with kill. five alive, they take almost all of it away. Brokey's all hiding out and will come through. And we lost Grim on Rude there, but that's absolutely fine. They'll find double digits themselves, close the gap down to one round again. Complexity back online. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise. This grand final is delivering on all fronts. Second map coming to a close. It's one round in it and broke it, it's full set. Woo! Once again, down the vent, opening kill found. But still the top side under scrutiny. It's a good hold from Twist. Needed that one, Brokey, he's done it again. Multi-kill, close quarters, combat orping. Turned out they did have the balls to call it again, but Phaser's just a little bit bigger. That'll be it, call it 12, one more now for FaZe, map three, five kills away. Record it Chad, did they have the minerals to go with that upper rush once again, they gave it a go but Brokey what ready and waiting, he's getting everything done for them, carrying through the second map, could be the final round of play, 12 to 10. Silent now. Quick, smart, down, and a brokey frag again. Impact from the Orpa. Yeah, he's absolutely everywhere, playing a spectacular oh! game. And a magnificent oh! shot from Garrigan. How has he hit that? Drive by, brokey says bye bye to Complexity's hopes. Unless Halzak and Grim, with this bomb going down uncontested, they can play this post plant between the two of them. Setup has to be perfect. Face of so many nades, smokes, molotovs, kits. The kit and caboodle. To take us to a third map in this grand final. Grim, if you could just find one. I think exchange towards Halzuk's position. Grim needs to find them all now. It's all on his shoulders and he's shut down. That's Faze, take us the distance. We need three to separate these two. And Leisure Patrol the extremities, and it will be the safe finish as Cole Kabir turn towards the bomb site. You two limped out, and they're in. Rotation on the way. FaZe have to deal with the Leisure. He's spotted out too. Yeah, Rob's the unknown entity. Will they clear him? Tracks them. Oh, the trigger. Discipline. Two clicks, and the pistol is theirs. Taken by force. Rob's in these pistol rounds is finding his impact. And the patience in pressure of the last map's pistol, and he keeps his cool. The aggression, the assertive play of Brocky. They know exactly what's coming in here next. It's going to be Robs to defend. He's got a lot of players in front of him, and he's starting oh. to mow them down. A good response. The M4 only good for one. They're scrambling oh. for the block. Oh. They might just get it. The bomb doesn't get planted, but they get a couple of kills. <laughs> Not all is lost. It's still a pretty decent round. I thought JT might have actually got it down there. That was like mad. Could. And Complexity not in a rush, but Carrigan, look at the aggression. Yeah, he is. Forced away. Rain, he wants to fight. They want to take these fights. Yo. It's already robs onto a leash. Oh. And now Rain, he'll take two. Oh, that might be the round in itself. So Complexity, you're either going to have to cool your jets, slow it right down, or start getting a cave smoke in play. Otherwise, oh, nice shot. Something back. Rain low, twist half. Carrigan as well. Yeah, it's rain though. Look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. Oh, okay. dear. Okay, this is actually getting a little bit problematic. A three on two is certainly possible. 
Better in mind, it was a five on two to kick things off. They've still got 30 seconds here. One player defending the B-bomb, so that's going to be Carrigan. He's tucked away here. He's low HP as well. There's every chance he goes down. Big kill. That should secure the round at this point, unless Grim can do something magnificent at this point. He knows where the first player is. Finds that frag. Can detect the second. It'll be a fake plan almost certainly. Oh, my oh. God. A real chance there. An almost hollow victory considering the advantage they have, Chad. Yeah, precisely. And if your complexity with the shoe on the other foot, you're happy that you brought back a couple of kills. Smoke Cave through the flames, JT. It allows the T's to actually focus on this mid area. You can see CT's very aware oh. of it as well. Oh, it's JT taking advantage of the smoke blown towards the cave entrance. That yeah. was desperate. That was Twister's nade, exactly. and it leads to Rain's demise. And making the gamble. Hedging his bets. A hard clear ahead of them. Oh, Carrigan blinded. And in the flames he burns, but now the angle clear, Rops only the one! It still favours complexity, but only by a Nat's wing at 10 HP. Carrigan finds the headshot! Repositions, a double kill from the captain, he's surely going to go down now, but can he take one more with him? No! The answer to that, it's Halzug with the frag. Well, here he comes, Twist, yet to die in this first half, 5 and 0 right now. No utility with the AK-47 in his hand. This one certainly in his wheelhouse. The no. first frag is his. Up against a lead, former teammate now. To try and continue the streak for FaZe Clan. Form planted, ticking at some pace. He's got a defuse kit. He's got the firepower and the HP, but the lead is giving him nothing. The lead versus Twist. Who'd have seen this coming? And Elyse, the one to prevail. To bring home the bacon. And complexities first. Stepping up with this opening pick, and he even found more. Great job. There's a leash. Doesn't even allow Twist to get towards that bomb. Denies, and they're happy with that one. It really only hinges on Carrigan. I like the fact they're calling the bluff. Carrigan's gonna get a face oh. for the lead. Oh, oh, oh no. Still good. Gets the smoke down. Oh, Rops' his push does nothing. And Floppy's clearing out the site one frag at a time. Brokey and Twist, they have rotated through. This will not be the path of least resistance for Cole. And Twist makes that clear. A statement of intent onto Halzerk. Trying to right the ship. A 3v5, now four. If Brokey gets back towards A, quick smart, there could be a chance, but he hasn't rotated just yet. Still over towards Speedway. It's going to be Rain. Yeah, he's an A main though, I believe. So yeah, this is actually not a bad position. If they overlook the spot, go for a quick plant here. It could be oh, everything. What? what a shot from Rain. He takes the aggro. It's enough for his teammates to rotate in. Brock, he's here with the AWP. They might be able to establish the round. Three versus two. There's complexity collapsing. And Rain steals the round away. A hundred and eighty degrees you have to deal with coming out, Donut. The fact that Rain holds onto that territory, Rob's pushed and already died. This shot, yeah, what is it. that? Tracks him on the jump. Elise does everything to pull the cross there. Brokey, this crossfire by virtue of Rain surviving. Look at this. It's so good from Face Clan. And oh, oh the frustration's is. bubbling over to the surface now. The first, ah. the first signs of tilt there for complexity. They've been so composed throughout this series, but that is a rough one. They had absolutely everything going in their favor. The first couple of kills, they had phase on the ropes. Understandably so, the first CS2 land final here. Pressure is high, but Horzo missing a key shot there as well. Starting to crack once again, 40 seconds. They need to work out how they're executing towards the B side. Yeah, he gave it a go. Grim trying to find the space, but oh, now segregated no. one by one. They topple. FaZe already with the half in the palm of their hands. A seventh to absolutely secure it. And there it is. FaZe Clan. They're feeling themselves here on the third. And for complexity, they're up against the crowd too. Uh, Carrigan's asking you one simple question, Sydney. Are you not entertained? Chad, you were right. That advantage they found, they completely squander it. They can't connect the dots. The shot's not landing. And it's Brokey once again, closing the round out. Seven to one. They are spiraling here in the third and final map. They haven't got much positional control with 30 seconds on the clock right now. Rain, a very strong position, Alex. He's got a chance for a multi-frag here. Oh. Commits to the spray and the B bomb side now under a lot of scrutiny. Carrigan, what have you got for us? He's got one. 
He's gotten away and he's got another! Kerrigan denies! It has to be Grim. It has to be JT. They can't lose this one and they will! At the hands of Brokey's Orb! No! Oh, Complexity crumble! Opening kills but no rounds to show for it! It's unraveling at the seams here, Complexity. There's not much left in the tank. Orb for Halzerk. AK-47s for Brokey once again! Another chance to open things up. The opening oh. frag has been found, but Robs will answer back. Yeah, Halzerk didn't quite have the adjustment there onto Robs. But the orb shut down. The frag found. And Rain, only an MP7 to his name, and that's cost him. Into the site now. We might get to see that bomb go down for Order complexity. Witness. It has to be there around here. Oh, <gasps> Did he just slip through? The space. Yeah, JT doesn't know! Somehow he gets away from the Yikes. spray. Run down by Carrigan, caught with the pin pull. And the bomb will go down, Rops. Last scene on A. Now we need to talk about Floppy. He's got the most kills right now for complexity, call at nine, and he's still saying six. Keeping somewhat calm, mind you. However, setting up his reign with Brokey on the orb. This is going to be a tough one to crack. They'll give it a go. The flash, the missed shot from Brokey. The molly forces him away. But will they not clear? Rain! The double kill again! Cave is his domain. 14 frags from the Norwegian. And sure, they blow the smoke, but there's no window of opportunity to do anything with it. No frag found, and look oh at Rob. He's playing a perfect game of Counter-Strike in this third map. He's just such a nuisance. And Rain, another aggressive position. The shadow advantage! He's on for the ace! Face clan, once again, decimating complexity! Oh, stay out of there. That's mad. Absolute madness. Consider that an option. You've got a five on three. Of course, he's fallen back. We tagged him up, but no. Like he said, the shadow advantage. Double volleys. Final round here. Burning. And also look for the double kill. It's another opening frag, but Robs answers back. Believe though, braves the smoke walkout. Robs cannot believe it. Caught off guard. Patents by Elige. What with the disadvantage? Elige is going to be scouting. Yeah, you're right. Rain. Is Moving there a flash? Forward. He just goes dry! Good God, it could have been two! Oh, Brokey will come as well, watch this. Oh, it's the bomb. Brokey. Brings the fight to Grim. Punishes. Looking for more. Did he see him? He spots him. JT hits the shot on the jump up. Oh! oh, and he hits the other. An important frag for JT. And now it's Carrigan left oh, alone. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he didn't him. see him. Carrigan. He knows something's afoot here. Can feel the rumble of the crowd, knows he's under a lot he of pressure. He might hear this. Oh, he did. He did. Carrigan. JT's going to look away. He strikes. Oh. oh, JT. He gives them something to celebrate. It's only three, but is it enough for a phase? Heading for that trophy. Find out with us when we return. It really does require a pistol round for complexity. Spamming away into the smokes. Just Halzerk. He's got a lot on his plate. Carrigan first contact. Good work from Halzerk. Brought down by Twists. Bomb will go down. And now oh, Ray needs two. He can't get anything done. Looks good for Cole. If they can get this retake started. Hold on. Robson Brokey hitting shots. Brokey just miraculously finds two. It's Floppy in the clutch. Pushing out. Takes the bomb. Is they going to double peek him? He can't do anything! Oh, and Carrigan, look at the sigh of relief! They know the hard work has surely been done here. Elise, this is your chance to find the impact. Solo locking down mid. That silence then fought, sent forward. There's a fight coming. Oh, and now Elise, he obliges with a fantastic oh! double on the M4! Complexity called upon him, and he's delivered for a second round forced by. They must convert. The job is surely done. Hilly brings the fight further. He's lost his life, and that could perhaps raise eyebrows if this continues to spiral. Yeah, there you go. That's the upgrade back in the hands. Ooh, I did Rob spot him? I don't, I think, don't so. think so. Oh, it doesn't That's matter bad. when you can react like that. They can get in towards B. There's multiple members here, sure, but it simply cannot go down like this. It will be done. The game will be over if they cannot convert this round. Bear in mind, no kits, no utility. They have got the M4, but they have to get their skates on here as the bomb is starting to tick at some pace here. Yeah, Rops 
already primed and ready to take that first contact. He has to take the fight now. Floppy, good for it. JT combines a 10 second of fuse. Brokey in the clutch, can't do it. And so complexity. They weather the storm, battered and bruised, but a fourth on the board. And that's the first sign for a liege in this final map. He needs to do that and more. The task that is going to be at his door will be massive. FaZe will not relent. Allow complexity to slowly but surely work their way back into it in terms of resources. Five players making their way in towards No a. support, no support for Hauser. Oh, you're right, but he has got a strong position, Chad. This should be fine with the but first kill. Plant. Tuck in. <gasps> of the grand final no 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 not on Halzerk's watch on his own but he gets it done with ease the full eco bash control early allowing complexity to aggress Alex this could be terrible for Cole I haven't smoked the doors Carrigan spots him, sprays him out. This is a lot to do, and Carrigan good onto a leash. He gets nothing, and neither does Floppy. Two of the brightest stars in Cole extinguished in the opening 20. And there's more to be had. Great Huge. find. JT has given complexity control of B. Full control. His teammates elsewhere ready themselves for friction. Oh no, Grim. On his first peek out of the donut side, he's gone down to twists. Halzak's not clear in this. If he does, oh, I think Broke he is, is a Jack. dead man. Beautiful from Halzak. Now that bomb on the back of Rops, likely going down. It's the wrong gamble. Oh, they're so far away. They've got an Kits. incendiary, three flashes. Kits are available. Nice little swing here, hunting for information. Twists, oh, what oh. are you up to? They need to maybe retreat off this one, reposition. CT's right back in this. They've got kits available. And he look, he looks thriving at this point. Halzerk managing to spray oh. them down. It's Swiss who cannot convert. Complexity, keep the dream alive. That is three consecutive rounds of confidence boosters. The Elige on the M4, thanks to the in-game leader. The Eco Ace from Halzerk, and now JT in the one-on-one. -on -one. They've got Desert Eagles, some basic utility, flashes. Smoke's being deployed in towards middle. Grim catching a face full of them. He needs to find at least one here. He can't Flash. get down with nothing. He'll get the first. It looks like it's all under control. Complexity coming back to life here after a disastrous start on Ancient. This one's locked in. Can they get any damage done? Or do Cole get a clean sheet? Not a B.I. Oh, Jesus. No! no is guaranteed that's massive for rain yeah he earned that one yep. insane fair enough no not another one <laughs> <laughs> bloody hell crosshair was in the right place oh, i would have lost my absolute shit yeah. oh, okay three round game yeah hold on spotted out pre far through oh, that's a problem now grim's in a very difficult spot is hoping he'd find one oh, kill no. before he's taken down to the usp and he makes it work, like I said, one would do considering the circumstances. Back to a four and four, Horsek snatches Big. the lead away. Yeah, takes out Twist on the donut side. This was a two-pronged assault. And it seems they're actually gonna try and reset. Rain investigating towards the red room. JT here, turns the flash safely. Pressure applied by the boatload. Here's Rain. Looking for trouble, looking for that equalizing frag. Elish sees the shot! Oh, what is that kidding? from Carrigan? How is he hitting these shots? And his Floppy hits them both towards the side of Red Room and Complexity find another from 10-3. The score now reads 10-8 to eight and FaZe Clan call another. You thought that would be enough to win the round but it's Floppy with a double spray down from the B lanes here. Amazing work there. They'll close things out with the AWP frag and complexity are alive and well. Two rounds in it. It's all to play for now. This grand final delivering on all fronts as complexity now posts five rounds in a row. The mental fortitude being shown by a team. There's one smoke on rain. Where will he deploy it, short or long? That's the question. 25 seconds. Looks like a long smoke. Halzak will have the line. Oh, Zerk, this has to be a perfect orb shot, and it is! On to Rain, no trying way. to slow them down on the cross to the side. He nails another! All on Robs, no time for this one. Complexity set to collect and make this just a one-round game! We are not done! 
Oh, 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 that's more like it. It all started with the ace for Holzak. It was against Glocks, but it lit the fire beneath him. And now he's hitting absolutely everything. One round in it as he finds kill after kill. Floppy, solid as you would like, in towards that cave position, denying the plan once again. Yes, they have maximum loss bonus, but it's another half by as Complexity look to tie things up. How have they brought this game back in their favor? Up against just Tech Nines, presumably a B rush. All five players are favoring this side of the map. They take a lot of damage on route. It's going to be an execute, but there's three players here. Here it comes. There we go. He's received. Oh! That's a problem. That's a response. Hauser, can you really get another? Can you save your boys? Watching from the sidelines is JT. Rain's already got a lot of space. 7 HP, but it's not stopped him pushing forward. Retake required. Yeah. Rifle juggled. Elise fast on the flank. This is real dangerous now. Bomb ticking away, CT retake coming through there. Smoked off for now, trying to find some space and control. Robs will spot the Orpo, it's awkward oh. now. He takes him down and now this is where Complexity on the back foot, but Elise, he's fighting back. He's done everything he can. Oh, and through the smoke, Brokey finishes off Grim. Floppy needed that one, and Brokey in the clutch. Is there a gap on the smoke? There is. There's two of them. He could just spam the diffuser. He's going to get Floppy oh. off the bomb. A clutch from Brokey. It's Imminent. Enough. He's done enough. And FaZe finally breaks through. The first round is the pistol round. FaZe get it done with the pistols. And what the hell was that entry? The tag nine for range. Oh. And we'll see it again. Here it is. What the hell is this? Bang! Oh, Run and man. gun. The Tech 9 rips it open. <laughs> it was anything but an easy round. Brokey fighting tooth and nail through the smoke. How does he find the defuser so cleanly? And they are back. They are the ones in charge now. 11 to 9. Smoked off. He can't go through mid as he may have intended. Grim. Halzak as well to help him out. Goes through the smoke. Oh my god! Halzak! He saves them with the opening. Maybe more required from Grim. No! Oh, Twist has got him! And FaZe, three frags away from the 12. It's only a couple left, but just like that, Elise has cleared him out. It's up to Rain in the clutch. He nails Elise, and JT once again has to come up clutch. 37! Oh! And that might be it, Alex. That might be the back-breaking round that guarantees the trophy. It's championship point. Money is completely ruined. After the huge streak of rounds, there is no loss bonus to speak of. And it's Rain delivering on all fronts. Buddy is 24th kill. That reaction says it all. They are in a world of trouble now. It will take three rounds in a row just to take us to overtime. It's Horzok who's had a fantastic showing here in oh, the Grand Final. Just ran away. Oh, the God. smoke from Carrigan forces the rotate. And so Grim has to step up. The 5-7 spams, snaps the neck. TK! TK! Still hitting shots. And complexity, they need more. Rain again, this time a one on four. I don't think so. They do not go quietly into this one. Unbelievable. It's the 5-7. The throws a cat amongst the pigeons there. And Elise with another double. He's holding on. He's hitting the shots. It's Halzak. Two onto an enemy, one onto a teammate, but that's a complexity round. And the money's broken. We're going back and forth here now. It's going to go right down to the wire. Surely not. It's Once exactly bitten, strap. twice shy, JT. Yeah, he backs away this time. Into the site they come, unloading his magazine. It's Halzak with a double, and Complexity are taking us to the final round of regulation. Nothing left for Robs. Shut down. Disconnected from Robs. You know where he is. Staying poised is Robs. Trying to tap ahead. Floppy takes us the distance. Oh, a smoke wow. grenade would go so far right now. Halzak's on his way as well. He's going to be smoked off. He has a HG. The incendiary's not bad either. Carrigan on the lead. The spearhead of this assault. Halzak finds that HG. They pause and he has nothing to report. He's coming through. Has to. Step up. When it needs oh. to. Halzak, one frag. Nice from Elige. That's overtime. Three frags away now for complexity. The nades have landed. He's very low. If he could find one more, he sealed the deal. It's Elise again to stand up. 
20 make it 22 and complexity they take us the distance overtime needed a sigh of relief for the coach cc there it looked like this game was over they didn't turn up in nine, the first three half. down nine three down chad they lost the pistol and still taking us to overtime and that man right there Elise, on your screen North America's one true hope. He hasn't given up. He hasn't lost the mental edge. And we go again. Yeah, leading by example. Still throwing aggression into the mix as Halzak continues to find frags. Impact from the Orpa. Hamstrings Carrigan. Floppy gives the fight. And this is complexity. Finding a new elevation into the new game. Lovely from Grimm. Takes down Carrigan, poking his nose through the smoke and phase. Empty handed into the first round of OT. I can't believe it. How have they got the lead? What a comeback. They were down. It Go looked on, like there was no chance. Go and on, they're son. close things out, son. It's Brokey will have the last opportunity to do something with this round, but it's all for not. He's out of position. Just a formality now. Maybe he gets a couple of kills, but it's not going to happen. JT will confirm the lead. They brought this game right back to life here. It's rain. Throws out his smoke. Floppy readies himself for the swing. It's the fight, it's rain. Timed to perfection. Grim reveals himself for the trade. And now the pressure mounts as they enter the site. The plant, unlikely. Oh, the Maybe. Bit late, bit late. Um, and it's not, it's a safe plant for it. Brokey does get tagged up a little. Three on three. Hard retake. Very difficult. Ooh, just through the box, brings the fight. That's what they needed, FaZe. Just have to get past Halzerk. Easier said than done at times. As he no brings way. straight through the smoke. What is this from Halzerk? I can't believe it. He's got a kid. Maybe, just maybe Halzerk could be the hero for complexity. Twist is going to have to think about it. And he oh! does. Oh my God. Oh, he had. It's all Zerg with a prime position here. He hasn't missed many shots here on Ancient. 29 kills to his name. Oh. Won't be finding another in this round. It's a five on three advantage now. FaZe mowing them down. And Swiss presumably confirms the round at this point. 2-1 for FaZe looking very likely unless Floppy can do something magnificent at this stage. They know exactly where he is. That timeout called by Neo, you only get the one, using it to try and manufacture a second T round. It's massive. And it's huge for FaZe Clan. We'll give it a go. And it's a great start. Floppy, the sort of player that can make these rounds work, known for his clutch potential. He's finding headshot after headshot. This is getting interesting now. Bear in mind, Twist is low as well. They've got a chance. Oh. That was the opportunity, though. It would have to be an ace from Floppy. A fantastic effort. But it will be FaZe Clan posting 2-1 on their T-side campaign in the first half of overtime. Orzek, such a slowly hard, but surely. Hard He's got the bomb on his back as well. Needs to be careful here. It's a frag for Cole, but we'll see if they can convert it. That was their problem. Definitely won't expect a second on now. Yeah, Twist is getting run out. Need a trade here. He's getting the both. JT sweeps him under the rug. Man advantage extended by Grimm's headshot. And Rain thrust into a one versus three. Flash at his face as the bomb goes down uncontested. Trying to play around the smoke. It's held by Grimm, and Grimm secures it. High impact from him there, a triple kill. You can spend that quick. Oh, oh. huge nade. How many sound cues? Yeah, and then Brokey builds upon it. Hold on though, it's only the one from Grimm. Brokey's racked him up. Shut it down. His rival Orp is still around. It's Halzak. Brokey, he's trying to stay alive. Bide his time, trying to see if they can force the plants out of them and it's going to come through. It's a fake. Okay. And JT actually hit one. Spam the boards, found Rain in the cave, and now with the bomb down, Halzak and JT trying to do the impossible. Live before our very eyes! Oh! He looked away! JT, an impossible one for him, but a powerful position all the same. Yeah, the smoke's not He's ideal. He's got the name. He's got the name. Throws it high. It's well timed. Twist. His first victim, but there's a quick knee-jerk reaction out of Roki. And so it's FaZe.
on that championship point once again to be the first to lift the trophy in the new game. Wow. Every single round is up for debate. A four versus two, it looked like they had oh. no chance of the bomb going down. If Orta gets that kill towards the cave, you never know. They might have pulled it off. It's a frustrating finish and he knows it as well. He's got to keep it together here. He's had a fantastic showing. Can FaZe convert it? Pick up the trophy right here, right now. It's been one of the best grand finals of recent memory. A fantastic show from both teams, oh! and it's Ozark once again, There's opening only one kill. Here. There's only one man here, it's Carrigan. If they dare push, if they dare take this initiative. Look, he's blocked. He stopped them from coming up the ramp. They won't make the move. Rob's searching now. Oh, it's JT. He could be dead. He's not, though. Overcomes Rob's. A massive frag. A response from Twist, now noted in mid. And how's that? Just as he looks away, it's Carrigan that re-aggresses. Advantage squandered. And FaZe. Sydney. Are you ready for this? Smoke. Brokey Ooh. just looked away. As they crawl, they're through now. Issues trapped. No! Up. Carrigan zipped up. Through Brokey, the molly. Through the molly to deny. Just makes his bottom. As 30 seconds on the clock. A two on two emerges. The trophy on the line. Our pot shut, pot luck. No scope not to be. It's only Brokey. Or we go again. Floppy, he secures it, and complexity forces us into a second overtime. Oh, <laughs> they hold it together. Another round that comes right down to the wire. 15-15, it's all reset. And we will see, of course, complexity remain on the T side here. This Holder, fucking uh, Taking matters into his own hands, getting that opening frag. Floppy taking down Carrigan. If Carrigan just gets one there with the org, it could have been enough. Brokey with no choice but to push the smoke. And we reset it all once again. Both Orpers it. with absolutely insane moves. Out mid again, Halzerk. He's the can opener. Oh, and the Liege is the one to keep them the advantage. Hold on, Carrigan's got the double on the push. JT and Grimm watching from the sidelines, but there's a lot of space. The Liege has accelerated his way, hoping to borrow, hoping to catch them off guard. Floppy's so disconnected from the pack. So Elise needs a pick here. If he can actually lock off the rotations and deny access towards CT spawn, it could be enough to Floppy to actually get the bomb down here. That's oh, a huge kill! Oh my god! 17 points of health, brings it back to a two on two. Now Floppy can plum. Oh. Can he? Can he? What's he doing? Plant. What's he doing? That's costly. After all of that hard work from Elise, now it's practically impossible. Elise. North America oh. watching as that one slips between their fingers. Floppy's gonna be mad at that one. I just don't think they're expecting anybody to be coming that quick because Elysia just found that frag. Yeah. It was a deep kill and it was somebody looking towards spawn. But any so the defensive reason, plan would have worked. Yeah, I'm with you, Henry, but he didn't want to plan open to Donut because he didn't have any protection. He tried to get off it, but broke. He just too swift. And the mental moves of these Orpers right now are round defining. He's trying something aggressive again, through mid, through cave, every time he goes, he seems to find the frag, the nade, it lands square on the jaw of Halzerg, Rain dancing, nades landing, props fragging, as pushing is Rain, phase, pedal to the metal, accelerate towards 17. Oh, this is going to be exhausting for these two teams, I know it's MR12, we've got less rounds, but just how back and forth this has been. Try and brute force, Elise with the double! Okay, just when it looked like there was nothing to be said about the round. In what one smokes though. Quick if, spray. If they uh, Carrigan, this is it's all on you. Spots him immediately! Yeah. Carrigan shuts them down and sets FaZe up for glory! 2-0 for FaZe! Looking for the clean sweep here on their CT campaign. A comprehensive close from Carrigan. He keeps the dream alive there. One more would give them the 3-0. Great stuff here from Rob towards middle. And it's Carrigan. The perfect position spots the shadow and denies absolutely everything into it. The B-bomb site. Final round of this first half. Interesting. It's going to be the A split to try and pick up at least one round on their T-side campaign. 
Assertive push from Grimm here, but it's all about the bait and switch. Robs is in the corner. Twist trying to find a pick to set his teammate up. He can't find it. Robs throwing oh! them down, and here they come. Looking for the clean sweep of the oh! CT side, and they've done it. Fades have got 3-0. Surely it's enough. The nails in the coffin. Floppy joins JT. Molly, awkward, awkward indeed. Floppy backing away, perhaps they overlook him. It's JT safe, spreads now. He'll be down to four HP, gets away from the flames. And nice from Elise onto twists, a double from the mid hold. And Ray, he can't get anything done. Elise secures it with the triple. The first of three tests passed. Yeah, we're flying colors as well, Alex. Cave smoke, Rops has got a deeper variation, telling a B pressure. They finished it with pistols on this side of the map. Maybe they can do it with rifles. Yeah, it's a full up execution, Chad. You're dead Here on. Here we go. Charging through. Carrigan and Rain. They've already kicked open the door. Down goes JT. Still takes one. It's a leash. He needs this one. Flash is good. Flash. He's so blind. Rain gets away. Good moves. Oh, dear. There's only two of them left. And Halzerk, he's been the difference maker. But this time it's Rain. As Halzak meets his maker. And Grim alone as FaZe Clan. They've heard him. It's done. It's certainly done! <laughs> Breathes that in. A sound he'll never grow tired of. FaZe Clan. Quiet this year, but coming into the new game with new vibrations. Oh, the fire in the belly. The motivation reignited. Counter-Strike 2 returns FaZe Clan back to the winning ways. Their second title of 2023. The second IEM Sydney for Rain, Twists and Carrigan. What a performance. What a grand final. Throughout the playoffs, we had nothing but two zeros, blowouts across the board and we get to the grand final and we are given an absolute gift here some of the best counter strike you're ever going to watch amazing scenes here fantastic performance sydney put your hands together your champions from i am sydney 2023 it's phase class